Hi, it's Sam. Welcome back to Philly Swiss. Now, today we will be looking closely into dog subscription boxes, which we wouldn't have known they existed if we hadn't gotten Snickers to begin with. Now, I've seen YouTube videos everywhere about dog subscription boxes, but they're usually US-based companies. More than often enough, they only ship within the US. Because I was so intrigued, I just had to start searching for ones that are based in Europe, whether it's the UK, Germany, France, as long as they ship to Switzerland, basically. It was rather difficult to look or find for these companies because we also have our own, let's say, strict uh, selection system but it helped us make the right decision on which subscription box to actually purchase from. I will elaborate more on our selection system later in this video so let's get started. First things first, what are dog subscription boxes? They're like surprise boxes that come every month for your dogs filled with goodies like toys, treats, accessories and hygiene products. These items are usually age appropriate and oftentimes when I would browse through the websites, you can customize them with treats only, toys only, or even mixed. Some websites even ask for the breed of your dog and I believe that helps them to distinguish the appropriate treats and toys for your dog's breed. The subscription boxes that we chose which you are already seeing one of them on the video, and that is from The Wolf Club. I actually found them on Instagram by luck, because I'd already given up looking for one that actually delivers to Switzerland. The box we subscribed to was the Wolf Club box, which contains around six to eight themed items, including toys, treats, shoes and accessories. We started with the Easter box and upon opening the box itself, it was really nice to see a personalized card with one of Snickers Instagram pictures and two very cool toys for Snickers. One that I like a lot is the ball, wherein you can put treats inside and he'll have to figure out how to get them out of the ball and eat them. And also a nice stuffed toy which has ropes for legs and it has a squeaker as well. So it's pretty funny to see him play with it when you can hear the squeak 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 sound. And also we can play tug of war with him with the legs of the toy. And his most favorite snack from this box, pig ears, which was really stinky, but he loved it. It was also really nice to have this Easter egg made of chocolate, and yes, it is chocolate that is made for dogs. How we came to subscribe for these boxes is number one. Do they ship within or to Switzerland? Now, if they're shipping to Switzerland, an additional question would be how long would it take? And in my opinion, if there's going to be food products, I don't think it would make sense for us to order something that would take too long. The second is the subscription fee. Now, we wanted to have a box come every month, so we subscribe, of course, to the monthly fee and some websites tie that together with the delivery frequency. So it's really up to you to decide how often you want these boxes to come and also looking at how much it would cost depending on that frequency. Most websites allow you to customize the boxes. Like I mentioned earlier, it could be treats only, it could be toys only, and it could also be a mix. And for us, we decided for a mix because it's nice to try new products and toys that we haven't encountered yet or that we can't find in the stores in general. And the last factor in our process is the types of goodies that are included. So for toys, are they interactive? Are they durable? Are they for teething or chewing? Is the material eco-friendly? For the treats, are they organic, vegan, or just healthy in general? Does the company accommodate allergies? And if there are miscellaneous items, are they for grooming or are they accessories? 
all of these and maybe more. The other box we subscribe to is only for food. And this is the wet food that we feed Snickers alternatively to the dry food. We take a few days to feed him dry food and then a few days again for wet food. What we chose from their website is the Paw Lift with chicken meat. And it includes 50% chicken meat, 36% of it is muscle meat, and 14% of it is heart, liver, and stomach mix. It also has 12% carrots, 8.5% chicken egg with free-range husk, 8% potatoes, 6% pumpkin, 6% apple, 3% vegetable fiber, 2% apple pumice, 2% mineral mix for dogs, 1% linseed and salmon oil, and 0.5% calcium carbonate. There are also additives per kilogram of the feed, which are vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin E, copper, calcium, and phosphorus. Now, there are still non-subscription goodies that we do get, sometimes from other websites, sometimes from the pet store itself. Number one is from Zoo Plus, which is a Christmas dog box. This one we bought in December, and it came with the dental sticks, dog food, dog biscuit, a toy, and lots more treats. we actually saw their booth at the dog fair this year and it's the Hov Hov Bekerai or Bakery. From there we ordered the pretzel, biscuits and doggy bites. It was quite funny because we ordered it in the morning and it arrived later that evening. I think there's a franchisee close by where we live so it wasn't that difficult or it wasn't such a big distance that they were able to deliver it the same day. The next are items that we could buy from QualiPet, which is the local pet store here. And every time we do go to the pet store, we get him a donut from Trixie. We also got one time the Quali Dog mini sausages for free, and that was an Easter bonus for us. And since the beginning of his training, we would get him these Quali Dog chicken cubes. Also from QualiPet, you could get Harmony products. One that we've gotten regularly are the natural sausages for training. I would basically portion it out according to how many training sessions we would have in the week. We also got the CBD snacks, which at that time there was a promotion together with the CBD oil. And it was perfect timing because New Year's Eve was approaching and we didn't know how he would react to fireworks. Lucky enough for us, he didn't react at all, he was just watching the fireworks and quiet. Recently, we tried the dental cleanies as well, and he seems to really like it, and it seems to do really well with his breath and his teeth. Something I also like to do whenever we go to the pet store is stock up on Vitacraft items, such as the Beef Stick Arthro Fit, Beef Stick Low Fat, the Beef Burgers, and the dog chewing bone, which comes with six pieces in a pack. We used to get him the Bone Guard 0 to 1 from Pansen, but the size is a bit too small now for him, and that's why we switched to the Vitacraft one. We also continue to buy the Hundesnacks Dental Care from Hills. Because it is bigger, it also keeps him occupied longer. Now, when you think about it, when you buy the items that you would find in a subscription box individually in a pet store, it could get pricey. Especially when you think about the accumulation of the cost per week that you would actually go to the pet store to get them. Also, it is quite convenient that they bring the box all the way home. Also, oftentimes the food are quite healthy and the toys are eco-friendly, durable, fun, and interactive. Although, 
the feeling you get when you're at the pet store is of course different you can't exchange that for ordering things online now Snickers gets really excited as soon as he gets to the pet store he gets to see new things he gets to meet new people if the staff members are not always the same he gets to try the free treats or food that are on display for dogs to try when they're there so that's something we don't really want to take away from him completely so we're actually doing this combination of yes we get the subscription box because we find it worth it and we still go to the pet shop but only maybe twice a month so that's every two weeks or at least once a month Snickers likes both methods, so he will never complain about it, that's for sure. Now I hope you found this video helpful. You can click the like button if you did. And also let me know in the comments down below if you've actually tried any other subscription boxes and how you found them. Also, if you want to see more of my content, you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified for future videos. I'll see you next time. Ade!